No, no, Rachel, you try. I'm going to have Rachel keep trying the uh, the room and try to get him back on. And then as soon as you have him, then just thumbs up and put it on to us. All right, War of the Roses. It is uh, Mojo in the Morning Show. Alexandra? Yeah. What is uh, Without saying what the company they work for, what kind of work do they do? What, what, what uh, type of job are we talking about here? It's a technology company. And she goes on business trips with him normally, or does he actually... No, she doesn't. He promised me she never would go on business trips with him because I just didn't like the way she looked at him. I didn't like the way she felt entitled to just go up and, like, put her arm around him. Like, they're way too buddy-buddy. She would do that with you when you were there? Yes. And what did he do? Well, he would nor I mean, he didn't totally discourage it. He would never cheat it in front of me, but who knows what was going on when I wasn't there. I mean, it was clear that he had let her know that was okay somehow. Right, well, he didn't but discourage that. he assured that. me nothing was going on. He just assured me, he assured me nothing was going on. And to prove, like, to prove it to me, he said that he would make sure they never, ever went out of town together. That was my big concern. Like, I don't think they're going to be, like, getting on and on his desk in the middle. They're working, like, an open workspace. I'm not really worried about that. I don't trust her, but like as long as there's other people around. But I just told him I never, ever want them going out of town alone together. And that's exactly what he's done. We're going to continue to try to get a hold of him, but hang on the phone for a second and let me grab some of these phone calls, okay? Okay. Mojo in the morning. Hey, uh, Pat. Hi. What's up? <laughs> um... I'd be on the next flight to Indianapolis mm-hmm. with uh, divorce papers and a mm-hmm. horse whip. Because apparently they were in bed together. She, it's not like she had to get up and uh, get him. Right. She, she didn't forget her key. And she said babe. I mean, she passed the phone and oh, said babe. Yes, she did. I heard that. You did? Did you also oh. hear Did you hear babe too, uh, did our, uh, Maria? Did you also hear babe? Yeah, so, yeah, she, well, first of all, she wasn't very far away from him when she handed him the phone. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? Yeah, you can tell that they've been doing this for a while now. Mm-hmm. She's able just to roll over and be like, hey, babe. Yeah. Like, it's no big deal. What kind of idiot answers the phone, though? You're in a married guy's hotel room. Do, do, do companies discourage when employees go away together and then they don't get you know, separate hotel rooms? Like, wouldn't a company say that that's a red flag that they're not getting separate hotel rooms? But but not just red flag for their personal lives. You're talking about potential sexual harassment claims. Companies would never... I would imagine they're not only going to discourage this, but there might be problems in the workplace when they return home because that stuff's really frowned upon. And one more question for people who travel a lot. When you lose your key, can't the (laughs) front desk make you another key? (laughs) And who knows? Like, they could have had... Separate rooms, and she just decided to. Mm-hmm. Ed. Good morning. What's up, Ed? What do you yeah, want to say? She definitely said babe, so that, I, I caught that right away. And then I, I, I always get excited about listening to the show, and I'm screaming out the window, cheater! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, she lost her keys. You get locked out of your room, you go to the front desk. Right. Say, hey, I, I, I got locked out. Unless so, she lost you know, it, she lost her key in his underwear, maybe. Well, yeah, that's about it, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hi, Jim. What's going on, man? Hey, you travel for work? Yes, sir. What would a company say about you sharing a room with a female employee that uh, was not your wife? Well, they found out they wouldn't like it at all, I'll tell you that. Do, and they it's, see that, don't they? D- doesn't somebody that does expense reports see that? Well, yeah, someone, of course, sees that, but I mean... You know, they really wouldn't talk about it unless something big happened like that, like what's going on with... Uh, like a wife calls kids. up and says, yeah. hey, my husband is having an yeah. inner That's office romance. Way. I don't think they would really care unless something happened like that. Hmm. Uh, Candace travels and says that this actually is not uncommon. Candace, Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? They, they allow people of the opposite sex to share a room? No. Oh, they I thought... pair us up. No, they pair us up like... I'm in a group of eight people, uh-huh. and there's usually one or two guys, like my supervisor, and then another person who's on my level, and it's just one other guy. Well, he'll get his own room. The supervisors get their own room, but and then like they, but they won't pair you up pair though them. in in the same room with somebody of the opposite sex, will they? No, no. no. And my yeah. husband always asks, and he's like, 
who are you going to be sharing the room with? I'm like, definitely another female, and I tell them exactly where I'm going, and yeah. he calls my cell phone or whatever. We've then joked here like, about the account. fact that we might be the only company I know of that encourages that, where I've, I've shared rooms with Shannon and other female co-hosts. <laughs> Because our company is so GD cheap, cheap that yeah. they don't care. And I would I would say, like, let's let's start a sexual harassment there, claim just to get separate rooms. There is not a chance that Chelsea would feel comfortable with me sharing a room with even, you know, Rachel, Shannon, whoever. She would not feel comfortable no. with that. Yeah. It wouldn't happen. Uh, real quick, last call, Stacy. Hey, yeah, you know, I actually work in the industry and make sure they make sure not only do we have separate rooms, we're on separate floors. It has happened. I've seen it happen. I had uh, one girl do a Kim control. She went there with the wig, knocked on the door, pretended the room service, busted her husband right there and then. Oh, no. wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Happen, but in my so you guys was, actually will make an ex- take an extra step and put them on separate floors. Absolutely. Separate floors, yes. Is that absolutely. just to avoid fights in your hallway, or what's that for? <laughs> you know, I don't know, sexual harassment, but sounds like your girl needs Daniel Moss. Yeah. yeah, seriously. This is the home of War of the Roses. The War of the Roses. The War of the Roses is my favorite. Mojo.